Hey guys, so this year we're going to do something a little bit different. You know, a lot of times when we get our new boats for the beginning of the year, we do sort of like a boat walkthrough, but I'm actually going to vlog the entire boat build process of my Falcon boat this year. So right now we're here in Newberry. You guys can see the uh, the plant here and you guys are going to get to meet some of the owners of Falcon. We're going to talk a lot about the construction and what makes a Falcon boat different than any of the other bass boats on the market. And you're going to get all the behind the scenes of how you actually build a bass boat from start to finish. And you're going to be surprised on how this deal works and how they actually manufacture, how the build process of a boat goes. So looking forward to spending these uh, next couple weeks. I'm actually going to be spending a lot of time down here in Newberry at the factory and just they're going to walk me through the entire build process. I've never actually watched a boat be built from start to finish. I've popped in and out of the factory a couple times just to see how they actually build the boats but never seen the entire deal from A to Z. So we're going to bring you guys along with me. You're going to learn a lot about Falcon boats and what's the Falcon difference. So uh, let's get to it. We're going to start my boat. We're going to see a lot of the colors that I used this year. We're going to talk about the boat size and the model that I choose and why I choose to run that model. So uh, let's get out here on the floor and uh, see how they're going to build my boat. That made my morning. <laughs> Christina bringing the goods. Yes. <laughs> yes. Forget the boat. Dude, we got Krispy Kreme. All right, so we got a bunch of choices here, and uh, of course, all of them have names, but I'm not sure what all. To me, they're blue, black, orange, red, so on, so on. So last year, my boat was this color. What do we call this? Come on in, Frederick. Oh, you good? Dude. It's I'm Frederick. You, man. Frederick. What up? What's going on, dude? Oh, I'm excited, dude. Picking up my new yeah. bird. We'll go out there and look at yours. You did blue this year, right? I did blue. 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 It's almost just like last year, the black and blue. Yeah. And on top, this time, I did silver with the whole inlay silver. Right. It, it turned out sharp, man. Cool. It's, it's cool. Beautiful. Well, I'm trying to figure out what colors I'm going to use on mine. So, last year I had, I think it's this, nope, that's ash. I did black frost, which is this color. Yeah, black frost. That one right there with a red stripe. I did just red pinstripe and red hole stripe. This year I'm thinking about doing the black frost again. I'm going to do this color right here, pretty much the entire boat. And everywhere I had red last year, I'm going to do this cobalt blue. I think this is it right here. That would be sick. Cobalt frost is the color. So we're going to do pinstripes, hole stripe, and that co cobalt blue. thought about doing something wild, but we're just going to keep it in the pocket and do pretty much something that everybody You may actually be surprised how they start the building process of a bass boat, but believe it or not, they actually start on the outside first. So the very first step in this boat build process is to take the colors and spray them inside the mold. The mold is just the form of the bass boat, the actual shape of it. I'm just going to take the colors that I want and spray that inside the mold to get the whole process started. So everything you see in orange here is going to be blue. Everything that's black is going to be black. <laughs> On this part anyway. That part that you're actually looking at, that is the, uh, the hull, the actual bottom of the boat. Here, so that's the neat thing about building a boat. You would think like a house, you would start with the frame first, right? You would start with the stringers or the transom and then kind of build around it. But in all actuality, Let's start with the outer side first. So you build both from outside in. So the very first thing that they paint is is the paint. The very first thing they do is is the gel coat. That's the first thing that goes on. Then they put all of that. Everything goes inside, right? Everything all, after it's gel coated it goes inside. After it's gel coated, then they start to put all the stringers, all the compartments, cap, put it together like a sandwich. You'll see, it's gonna be a real neat process. It's a couple weeks. How, like, how long you think, Oh, A couple weeks? Uh, takes to do all that? There's a lot of dry time. Seven, seven days to start finish. So, so um, that's actually pretty fast. <laughs> after this uh, step here, we'll go to putting the boxes and whatnot on. Um, then it's foaming and pulling, and that's when we get our first look at the deck. Cool. First step, you're actually putting clear on, and then you spray the flake. flake over top of the clear. Is that how that's working? Gotcha. 
All right, so that what you just watched, he was just putting just clear, just straight up clear gel coat on. Now he's got his back plaque of uh, metal flake. He's gonna spray that metal flake on top of the clear. So all he's painting right now, all that is is just my whole stripe. That's the only color I'll have is that stripe. It's along the bottom of the boat. Then I'll have a small blue pinstripe at the top, on the top cap. All right, that's the last stage right there. That's it until they move on to the uh, until they move on to the top cap. Now that we have the gel coat sprayed inside the hole, next step is I actually start to put the fiberglass and the resin in the hole. Before we spray it, you know, uh, this is what we call our steam coat. And so first coat of fiberglass that goes on the hole. This is, this is what makes a Falcon different from every other bass boat that you guys are gonna buy, is the way the stringer system is made. Not only is it reinforced laterally, but it's reinforced horizontally as well. It makes the boat a lot stronger, it gives it a solid, solid feel when you're riding as well. This is just the mold that they make the, uh, the grid system with. But it works really nice. Pretty unique to the bass boat industry. I don't know any other bass boat that has this particular setup like this. See he's filling up the foam in the stringers right there. You just watch it keep expanding. You see the dark? See it just filled up on that side. You see the foam expanding right there inside of it. See it just filling up. There it goes. All the way to the top. You can see the board there. Just cut a hole in it. They'll finish that over in the next process. The next step in the boat building process. Then he's gonna fill that with foam. Are you good? So we already we already foamed in the whole grid system yep. that we got in the bottom of the hole. What do we call this that we put on top before they foam that? Just another. You piece can call of it a subfloor. Subfloor. Gotcha. So they put but the subfloor. It's basically a floor under the floor. Gotcha. So he's gonna put the subfloor in. They glassed all that in. You see they drill little holes here. They're actually gonna fill all of that in with foam as well. So this whole bottom of the boat is filled with foam. And the foam box is back to back where your batteries sit, your oil tank, if you have an oil tank, and gotcha. your motor batteries, all this will be filled with foam. I didn't well. realize that. I didn't they'll, realize they'll that. They'll fill all this cavity completely full. Gotcha. So we'll, all these little holes right here, you see these holes, they'll come back with the gun and you can see he's the same thing they did with the, uh, the whole grid system that they put in the bottom of the boat. Drill holes, put foam in there, and then they finish that off later. I already got my cap done. The boat is kind of pieced together like two pieces. You got the hole, you got the cap. This is my actual cap. And you see they put all the compartments on and everything before they sandwich the deal together. This is my, uh, that's my rod locker here. That's the center tackle storage. This is a recessed foot pedal. You see all this stuff is reinforced. This is my uh, driver side rod locker or storage, whatever you want to call it. There's the cooler right there. And uh, they're getting ready to pull all this stuff out here shortly, sandwich the two pieces together, and uh, see what this guy looks like. I 
was just asking though, why do they, uh, like all of this back here, why do they foam it all in? A couple reasons. He was talking about moisture condensation. Helps keep the moisture down so the temperature doesn't change as much. And then the biggest thing is just so the boat is quieter. So a lot of times when you're fishing, you hear a lot of water slap on the hole. Well, that uh, that helps quiet down some of that, that hole slap with the foam around the compartment and so forth. Now, without a doubt, this part right here is the most exciting part of the entire boat build. After we've done all our work, did all the glass work and all the foaming work, it's finally time to see exactly what our color selection is going to look like when we take this guy out of the mold. Here it comes. Hey, isn't one like when you pull it out of the mold, isn't it like have a lot of static electricity too? Yeah. <laughs> Not touching it. So when, for whatever reason, when they pull the boat out of the mold, it is uh, pretty charged up, so you don't want to try to come up here and just rub on the side of the fiberglass after they pull it out. You know why that is? Opie, or is it just, just one of them deals? Just know that that's the way it happens. I just, I'm sure there's some kind of reason behind it. It's just something you learn to grow to know. That <laughs> just just don't it. touch it. So, here we go, here we go. Let's see what this guy is going to look like. I'm pretty excited about this part. It's my favorite part of the whole thing is getting to see what it's going to look like when you pull it out. See if you actually like the colors that you picked out or if you're like, maybe I should have used this color or that color. Here it comes. It's breaking. See that? Oh, oh. no red this time. Blue. Not bad, ain't it? That's it. What you think there, folks? What we call that? Black frost? Black frost. Black frost. Cobalt, Cobalt blue. blue. It's like a jig. You can call my boat the black and blue jig next year. Man. Isn't that cool? Started from the outside, worked the way in. Pretty amazing that they start off with the gel cloak first and then work your way in. Never would think they'd build a boat that way. That's it. It all starts with this guy right here. All starts with the mold. That was pretty cool, right? So we got uh, got the hole out. The next part that we got to pull out is actually going to be my uh, the cap. So you can see this deal kind of sandwiches it together. It's just two pieces that really make an entire bass boat, you'd think it'd be a lot more complicated, which it is complicated, but you think there'd be a lot more pieces to go together to make the boat. But it's literally only those two pieces. You can see, here's my uh, here's my cap right here. They're gonna pull that next. I'm gonna pull this apart. And then uh, once they pull that, the next order of business is uh, to put two pieces together. You see, they've already started foaming my uh, compartments in. They're gonna add a little bit more foam. What that does is uh, probably makes the boat a little bit quieter and it also uh, probably insulates some of the compartments. He just sprayed it and it's already tight. God, it's hot. Everything produces heat here, huh? Uh, move the cap to the hoist. And they're going to pull the uh, pull the cap out of the mold, so we'll get to look at uh, what the cap looks like too. Oh, tell me what you're doing. So you put you put a little air in the bottom of the mold, then you take these wedges to help bust it out, right? Yep. Help pop it out. Just go all around the edges here. Look at that. Isn't that just pleasant? The 
So you can see my little blue pinstripe that I talked about. It. Black frost, only a blue pinstripe here. Ooh, I felt the electricity just then. I felt it. I literally walked by and I felt it. I felt like the hair on my arm stand up. Man, I like it a lot. So make sure you comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about that color, the black and blue. I decided to switch to a blue this time because literally every boat I've ever owned has been something dark, something red. And I wanted something a little bit different this year, so I decided to go with the blue just to uh, just to switch it up a little bit. So now they're about to set this guy down on a dolly and uh, we got to trim the edges. They'll be trimming like a lot of this stuff around the edges and uh, sandwiching the cap on top of it and continuing the, the build process here. Just like that, we got a bass boat. Only took them two days. It really only takes two days because it takes a little time for that for that hole to cure. So you can see, uh, just in a short amount of time, we got a bass boat and getting ready to roll. So they're gonna roll away all the molding. Um, gonna pull the uh, pull the cap down. Start trimming the edge, the excess around the edge. Put everything together and get uh, get this boat rolling, baby. Hey, so that part of the boat build process went really fast, really smooth. You know, I've seen little bits and pieces of how they build a boat. To actually sit in and see every step from A to Z is going to be really interesting. So the next video you see will actually be when they piece the cap and the hole together how all of that works, a little bit of the uh, wiring harnesses and all the electrical starts to go in. It's gonna be on, our, on part two of this boat build series, so make sure you keep an eye out on my channel and, uh, and stay tuned for this entire boat build series.